What's up traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol IRNT for IronNet Inc. On the left hand side we're looking at the daily time frame and on the right hand side we have the 30 minute intraday time frame. This of course will be more of an update since we did cover it back in this section of the chart but the obvious development, the obvious elephant in the room really is this large gap up and then fade throughout the entire day back down towards the highs of the new ticker release date. Right, This technically isn't an IPO, it was a SPAC merger. So jumping right in, the first thing that we'll do is just take a look at the 30 minute intraday time frame because this story kind of is gonna tell it all. You can clearly see that we bottomed out down here and then on this big gap up, we kind of came back in and started retesting the prior areas of resistance. I would argue, you know, a large breakout point. So all things considered, the main area to watch on this chart is very simply 1841. Now, if you have other ideas about potentially wanting to go long on a different type of break, what I would encourage you to do is take out your Fibonacci tools and follow along, right? So what we're going to do is come in and go from the high of essentially the breakdown all the way to the low and just measure where the 38.2 is. And coincidentally enough, it's also coinciding with structure here from the 30 minute intraday perspective. So we'll get rid of that now. And you can clearly see that the low and where this first little rally came from is the 38.2. So on any retests here, the number to the upside to really be watching is at 23.11. So if we can get over it, I would expect a retest of today's highs up around, you know, I, I would just kind of call it 29, 29, uh, 96, really getting that 30 whole number is stretching it a bit since you can see that upper wicks were forming prior to that area, right? There was resistance prior. You never want to cherry pick the highs. So I'd call it a zone really from about 28 to 29.50 ish to play it conservatively if we can take out 23.11. But considering the strength and the sort of redness essentially of today's activity, I would really wait for some sort of confirmation, some sort of reversal candles to print, some sort of indecision doji to print, basically anything that would make you question, are the sellers getting some, you know, are they getting tired? Are the buyers going to step back in? In that case, you're looking for the long over the highs to get into this area first. Then of course the highs that we discussed that range with a stop loss underneath whatever reversal candle prints low. Okay. That's how I would play that on the reversal and hold of 1841 on a breakdown under that. I would say it's likely we go back down to the IPO or, you know, merger open price, which is here at 1346. That would be the next major area I would watch for. Not so concerned with 16, the whole dollar. If we scrunch this chart up, you can see where it's coming from, right? It, it technically was an area in here and offered some resistance there, but it's really, in my opinion, back down towards this chop zone at 1346 as discussed. So those are my thoughts. Pay very close attention to 1841 and 2311. Those are the two numbers I would encourage you to have on your charts if you're going to have any numbers at all. So if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something new, let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.